Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I've got my hands on something pretty interesting. As you can see in the center, something is not like the others. And this is an iPhone 7, this is an iPhone 7 Plus, and in the center we have an iPhone 8 prototype dummy unit. And this was sent to me by someone that makes cases called Yesgo. This is actually their company right here. You can see Yesgo, and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But they actually shipped this to me so that I could take a look at it. Now let me flip over these phones. And as you can see, we have an iPhone 7 in jet black and a 7 plus in black. And the iPhone 8, which is a little bit bigger than the 7 in jet black as well. Now we don't know if these are final colors or anything like that. And obviously the camera is different. And we don't know if the vertical orientation of the camera, we, we're pretty sure that's the final way it's going to be set up, but we don't know if that's better for AR since AR kit was introduced with iOS 11. So when this comes out, we expect iOS 11 as well. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks a little unusual because we're used to the camera being sideways. And when this phone first debuted last year, it looked a little unusual because there were two lenses or two cameras rather under the lens and this looked unusual. So I would imagine this will grow on us. Now we don't know if this is a final design and a lot of the times case manufacturers have these prototypes so that they can kind of figure out the best way to make their cases around them. So if you've got a case manufacturer and they need to figure out if their case will fit, you can fit it right over like that and you know that it will probably be right on the final design give or take maybe a few millimeters here or there so let me take a couple measurements and show you what the difference is now we've seen some prototypes that have different fronts on them as well we're pretty confident this is the back we don't know if it's going to be called the iPhone 8 Pro just the iPhone 8 and we know that it's going to be probably glass on the back as this is metal around the edges and glass on the front. Now some of the prototypes we've seen a little lip down here on the front where there's a camera and everything else. This prototype doesn't show any of that. In fact, it's just one big piece of glass. And this piece of glass, I actually have an old school ruler here. This piece of glass, if we go corner to corner, is about 14.5 uh, millimeters or 14.5 centimeters rather, rather or 145 millimeters and in inches since I'm in America and we're more on the Imperial system, we've got about five and three quarter inches from edge to edge. So it is a little bit bigger than an iPhone seven, but a little bit smaller than an iPhone seven plus the screen on this is right here. So you're only going from here to here. So you have that four and a half inch screen and the whole body is still about five and a half inches. So you gain about a quarter inch diagonal on the prototype here. So it is a little bit different in size, as you can see. Now, if we take a look at the bottom, you'll see this prototype has a couple of the same basically familiar speakers and microphones you can see there the outside has a matte finish on it and you've got a spot for your lightning adapter you've got two screw holes there's no screws in there and then let's move over to the side the power button interestingly is bigger if you see the power button it's black on top but it's silver around the outside so the power button is going to be bigger and you can't press these or anything on this prototype and there's no spot that you can take the sim card out but there's where the sim card tray is on this prototype so the button looks a little bit bigger than the iphone 7 and then on the top nothing there on this side you've got your typical volume rockers and vibrate switch so it looks pretty legit and you even have an antenna line right there you have one on the bottom as well and on this side in here so you've got symmetrical antenna lines and everything looks good it feels pretty good in your hand and if this is the way it's really supposed to be touch id will probably be under the glass or it will have some sort of iris or face recognition built in now the back here this is glossy and there's rumors of all sorts of different colors and this has a little bit of adhesive on it or something they sent it with a sticker covering this uh, i don't know exactly why but i had to remove that and there's a lot of different material that was sticking to this that I had to remove, but it's just a painted prototype, but it's pretty hefty. It's glass on the back glass on the front and metal. So it actually has a good heft to it as well. So I was really excited to get my hands on this just because I've actually never had my hands on a prototype iPhone dummy unit before. This is, would be the first time. So compared to the other phones, it feels very, very similar and familiar. It would be nice to have a bigger display in a smaller form factor like 
a Galaxy S8, something like that. And it gives us that option. And maybe not having to manufacture two different sizes, but we get the benefit of the larger screen and the smaller, smaller chassis. So it's hard to say, but this could be what it looks like. We don't know 100%. But if it is, it feels very familiar. I wish they would square the edges more, so maybe we'll see that in a final. I'm not sure. I prefer a more squared off edge just because it's less slippery. If they've figured out Touch ID under the glass, that would be pretty fantastic. And if maybe they've figured out some iris recognition, something like that, that maybe works really fast, that would be great as well. I can't imagine this has the oleophobic coating on it as this is a fingerprint magnet right now and I'm getting my fingerprints all over the front, but again, it's a prototype. No headphone jack as we expected, unfortunately, but we, we pretty much can assume that from going forward. We won't see that in an iPhone, unfortunately. So there's the three iPhones for size comparison kind of get the idea there and I would love to hear what you have to say about the iPhone eight. Have you seen any of the prototype dummy units in person? Do you think it will look like this? Do you think we'll have a couple different models, maybe with that little lip right here? And I'd just love to hear what you have to say about it. I'll leave a link to the company that sent this to me, Yesco, in the comments below. I really appreciate it. They sent this along, and I'll showcase some of their other cases in other videos uh, just to show them. They didn't sponsor this video or anything. They sent me this just to take a look at, and uh, I really appreciate it. So, that was great. And again, I'll leave those links. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.